that there's a wise man who's playing in that midfield wise man Maruleke who could be a man to partner in this Kabwe but it's a front line that is led by Ovidi Karuru and the creative heavy so the changes then made by the new coaching staff of Siema and Shibambu there's four changes made from the side that lost against Chipper Lifa Klongwani back into the lineup as is Rodney Ramaji Kenneth and Tateni along with as assistant coach to Dylan Kerr here's Brian with the formation there is no Edwin Jima at the back to organize that back four, but it is Masia who carries that uh, responsibility to manage that defense. It is Mtetwa. Let's travel then from the capital city, Chwani, making two changes from the side. Uh, Drew with Swallows on the 23rd of January. Um, specifically, Mkise comes into the midfield and uh, Peter Shalalile back in the starting lineup. No place for Gaston Serino in the starting lineup. He is on the bench, though. And the best way to defend is attack. He is absolutely right because that defense has, will be led by Mvala in the absence of key players in Libusa. George Maluleke will be the backup from Bazwani and Peter Shalulile on the wings. And uh, Eloise that's swept over from Madagascar into the northern Mozambique side. So ball in from Mabwe, lots of cover there, but uh, Kakana lining up where he don't normally does. Kermit Rasmus across the area, still a chance! Just swept over the top of the bar. Convincing way to clear your lines, you don't head the ball down, you head it high enough to allow yourself to recover. And that's what, what Leopards did, they almost got caught there with a snapshot on the so Roderick Cubway it's going to be if you're making sure the ball was in the right space short ball to Kamano oh little dummy around the back and a swerving effort and uh, my goodness me didn't miss by too much did it back full of tricks there his presence whoever thought that the Mushishi could be dribbled by a defender yes Zulu that dribbled him but it's kept me that's much that time. But how he slices that ball inches away. Target. I can tell you that was intended. Both corners have been taken by Langerman from Emily Sundowns. Near post. Still an opportunity for Kermit Erasmus. There's space at the back post. And the post will be the one that intervenes against uh, Kuompo Kekano. No. He's still got that speed. Ramaji on the right hand side, but this is the earlier chance. I think it's Shalulile that got to the end of that ball. Let's have a look at it. Yes, it is Shalulile. Denied by the upright. Looking a little bit hungry and looking for his place to get on with it. Finds his former teammate at Highlands Park, Peter Shalulile. Erasmus, the unrushing midfield, and a chance for Klompo Kekana. It's wide. I think it's Yuket Mas getting involved, setting it up nicely there. And uh, you look at Mabuwe setting up for Tompa Kekana. And that's where the, the deflection was. I think they had a goal with him. Dink over towards uh, Roderick Kabwe. And Kabwe getting behind him, Kize, who will bring him down. And he claims. Yes, he may claim that he got the ball, but uh, I guess in the... That's a foul, actually. Very flat line on the edge of the Sundowns penalty area. Kabwe, back post. And they can't find any space in there. I think he could have done better there. You're entertaining. Erasmus. Oh, ball given away by Kumalo. Peter Shalalili was fouled, but the referee playing advantage as Mabwe in very familiar territory indeed. Entertaining. Not back where it all started with Kumalo. Wiseman Malu. Look, has got space! It has been on this left hand side. Kumalo setting him up. And cancelling out Zwan and the invitation was there. But he uses his experience. And well, he's done a few. There's 
this particular move might with Rodney Ramagalela in space they got players forward here, back to Rodney Ramagalela was that into the back of Kururu the former Sundowns player making the run on the right hand side ball pulled back to him was that a touch of handball somehow to the penalty area anybody could have had a touch and Leopards have scored the goal here that uh, will have their fans at home it all starts with a build-up that engages that man who has been effective in the first half slices the ball but get guess who has the presence of mind to pounce on that one it's Zulu with a grass cutter it's Karuru that profits from that question marks in terms of the goalkeeping maybe he would feel that he could have done better but Black Leopards will be saying maybe they didn't get enough supply Player from Klompa Kekana coming to Rasmus Shalunile. Good vision, in fact, it's George. Is it Klompa? Yeah, it, it is Klompa because he's wearing the captain's arm, but a little back heel there for Shalunile. I feel he should have done better, and he knows it. Side the 26 year old former Magesi centre back, and he got a two particularly good touches. Serino again. Zwane! Scores for the first time since the 9th of January. With Shalolile. The Sundown that spreads the ball with Serino, who's just come on. Good vision, well set up for him. And it was a good attempt at first by Shalolile. Well set up there by Serino. But it's a good block that came from Deboho Makovela. But he, there was nothing stopping the reflexes. Is he going to go for glory here, the Zambian? Certainly does, but uh, Dennis Onyango was able to... Oh, and then get to play on the right-hand side. And we are going to have uh, some pocket kind of. Keeper stays on his line, across the face of goal! Karuru misses! From Kabwe. Power for him. Maybe not too brave enough to get to the end of that one. It looks easy there. It looks too easy for the man that is an advantage. Another opportunity here for Kabwe. It's a good save. It really is. Fast in your seat belts. As quick as it can here. At full laces. The mark of a good goalkeeper. Can't fall that he takes a deflection. Defending from Antateni. Gets a chip away eventually. He cleared off the line. By a sweeping King and Klovu. Inside had to improvise. Good skill. Nice depth touch. But when you ball watching like they were. Black Leopards. You'll have the Serena. Good technique to try and headed across face of the goal perhaps still within reach of the club playing capacity at the moment the city kapinga and smashed home no offside flag and have they snuck it in the final moments yet they came on and there's a reason why kapinga came on because they're full of energy their movement is so swift and they can be deadly he pulls the shot it deflects and he looks at Shalulile and it's that shot from Kapinga controlled by Shalulile and Masia appeals for offside no there was definitely no offside there and they got punished that's the mark of a man that has got an insatiable appetite to score goals that's the mark of champion